how's it? Today we are learning how to do MLA documents with Google Docs and uh, not going to teach you grammar though and uh, speaking of grammar what do you call Santa Claus's uh, little helpers? You call them subordinate clauses. <laughs> um, enough of that. So what we're going to do is just call this MLA document and dash and then put your last and first name. Next, we always want to make sure the table properties or the document properties are correct. So we're going to file page setup. And in our page setup, we're going to make sure these are all one inch, which is MLA. And we're going to change the size to A4 because we're in Korea. Uh, if you're in America, keep it letter. Um, you can sit, save as default uh, and hit OK. And that way, it'll always be like this every time. OK. Uh, next, we are going to have a title page. Okay, um, for this title page, <laughs> instead of, um, and for this title page, let's put uh, the journeys of, and then put your name. So I'm going to put Sam Lee. It's not my name, by the way. <laughs> um, instead of hitting enter, enter, enter to move it down, you know, the line, we're going to insert this into a table. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and insert a page break, command enter, and that inserts a break to another page. And go to view and make sure your print layout is on print layout so you can actually see pages instead of dotted lines. It's a little bit easier to see. You can zoom out too uh, to have a better look at your pages. And what you're going to now do is uh, highlight your title, command X, and we're going to insert a table. We're going to hit table, insert, and just put one little table here. We're going to drag that table, um, try to do it all the way to the bottom, but not too far because then it will go to the next page. So I'm going to drag a little bit um, higher and then now it fits on one page. And I'm going to paste it, Command V and Control click and go to Table Properties. And in my Table Properties, Cell Vertical Alignment is going to be Center and I don't need a border. <laughs> and now it's going to disappear. Uh, like so and now it's centered on my document and now I'm ready to zoom in a little bit more and keep going okay on the first page let's create um, before we cr let's create an outline so type in outline by the way uh, it's supposed to be font times new Roman for MLA so command a and then click on Arial and choose times new Roman and choose 12 point font Okay, now click on outline and hit command shift uh, E as an elephant or kukidi and it's in the center of the page and hit enter and you notice this uh, one below everything must be double space so hit command A to select all and go to format line spacing and double so now we're in double command shift L to go to the left align and let's start our outline for our outline, we're going to choose the one numbers here, and we're going to choose MLA format, which is here with the uh, Roman numerals and ABC. Um, go ahead and for your outline, choose uh, the countries that you've lived in in chronological order. So if you're born in South Korea, so put South Korea and hit enter, and then hit tab, uh, and it goes uh, to the next um, subline. And just name two things about uh, living there. Uh, you, if you just were born there, you don't remember too much. Uh, you can just write uh, some things like born in Incheon. And maybe you live there for three years. Okay, and enter and shift tab will bring us back. And then let's say you move to Hong Kong. Okay, enter and then tab. And then you can uh, say what you remember about Hong Kong or maybe why you moved there or so on and so on. So this would be that so on and so on. So go ahead and do the places you lived. And when you're all done with that, you should be good to go with your outline. Um, below your outline, let's go ahead and make a list. Okay, uh, this has nothing to do with MLA. Um, and we're just going to do a list just to hit shift enter to do 
um, or command enter to do a new page but let's just make a, a list um, which will be, go off of our outline so for let's just put a memory list and once you think of two memories from your childhood that you want to add now if you click on the bullet list click on any of these uh, I'm gonna click on the stars those are cool and memory list I'm gonna put uh, riding a bike for the first time okay and then hit enter and then tab now this tab will show you another bullet let's go ahead and customize our bullet by going to format lists and then go into list options more bullets and then you can choose any bullets you want so go ahead and be creative and choose any of those bullets um, okay I'm gonna choose you can even choose a smiley I'm gonna, this one's pretty cool all right so there's my new icon okay for the uh, bullet so what I remember about riding the bike the first time it was a red bike um, and my dad helped me and enter shift tab now my second memory maybe going to a baseball game and I remember it was the twins and I remember my dad bought me a glove at the game okay now let's put a couple images to go along with this if you go to uh, tools and we can go to research and the research is really uh, cool. Instead of going to Google on another tab, you can bring Google into this doc. Um, we're going to go to, I mean, you could spell things, personal tables, a lot of things you can um, play around with. But let's go to images. So go ahead and select two images. Um, one is going to be, I'm going to choose a bike. Okay, and I'm going to click on that bike. Actually, don't click on that bike. Um, all you need to do is drag that bike here. Okay, on the side and then you can just click on that and hit wrap text and now I can just click and move it over here and I'll wrap my text here the margin is uh, the amount of space around the text like if it was here if it's zero the text is really tight if it's big it's more spacing so uh, you can just choose what you want doesn't really matter for this um, thing if you want to reference this picture just go ahead and click here and then you can reference it and the uh, reference will be um, right there next I want a glove so I'm going to put in glove and insert that image um, uh, it's baseball glove there we go and insert that there and um, notice that the bike um, reference it showed it right here and all I got to do is do the same thing click down right there and wrap text so now we have our two images and our list and our reference below and now we're ready to create our paper um, so for our paper let's go ahead and uh, if you know MLA format MLA format is your name so Sam Lee and the teacher's name so just choose any teacher you want and this is the class so the class that teacher uh, teaches and then the date a lot of people get the dates wrong so let's just say it's August 31st do not put comma and don't abbreviate August it's just space and then let's just say it's 2017 now uh, next is a title so uh, remember we're gonna put the journey of Sam Lee and command E to center that uh, title uh, and we're gonna center the title so make sure it's centered um, also and the top right is supposed to be a header okay uh, if you look at uh, MLA format, see it's the name information on the top left, double spaced, the last name and the page number, uh, like so. So uh, go to view and header footer, or sorry, insert header. And in our header, we're going to put our last name, so Lee. And instead of putting a page number like 
three or so on because if you just do a number it'll keep that same number for all your pages um, Google Docs is smart you can actually hit insert page number and it will automatically do it and we don't want it on the front cover uh, so do the second one so it skips our title page so notice it's that smart it thinks it's already on three we're gonna highlight command shift R and that right aligns it and we're good if you double click out of that it's you no longer can do it and we can move on now we need some text let's just get some text go to blindtextgenerator.com uh, blindtextgenerator.com and what we're going to do is go 400 words, four paragraphs, uh, the first option, and just hit copy to clipboard. And we're going to go into our MLA document and we're going to hit enter and command shift L for left align and command V to paste. And that should still be in our double space and it looks like we're good. Now for our we have to tab is how you properly do the indentation for the beginning of the paragraph. Do not push space, space, space. Right here, if you use extra lines, you can just hit delete. Um, by the way, um, if you ever do copy things up from the internet, so for example, let's say we copied this like, welcome to the dummy text editor, but see how it's formatted like this? Um, if you paste that in here, see how it uh, keeps the same format? We don't really want that. So one way of doing that is highlighting something you want it to match, uh, hit the paint format, and then you highlight that text, and it should automatically um, change, change to it. Another way of doing that is to copy it and go and just paste in your browser. So just go in your browser, paste all that text here, Command V and then Command A, Command X, um, and if you command, command V, it just pastes that stuff in there. And so those are two ways of getting rid of uh, formatted text that you don't want. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that now. Let's go ahead and put um, a subject. Uh, for example, um, the subject of this next paragraph, the journey of Samley. Uh, First paragraph is maybe introduction. Um, so maybe we can just put introduction and then hit tab. Maybe the second one we can put uh, South Korea. Maybe the third one you can put Hong Kong. But what you want to do is instead of normal text, we're going to make this uh, heading one. Okay and it's going to change it we don't want it to change so what we're going to do is change it back to 12 point font and this is going to be times new roman and it's going to be like so now we're going to do south korea we want the same thing that's going to be a heading one but you're going to choose this arrow and hit update heading one to match so it's going to match that same heading format so it won't change it and so on so um go ahead and just um, add a couple more headings so maybe the countries you lived in um, and then once we're done, okay, um, you can go up here to the title, and again you can now do a title, and then again change it back. You naughty Google Docs, don't change it on me. So now we have that. Now, if you use these titles and headings, you can create a table of contents. So if you go to the top and you hit Command Enter, which is insert a page break, and now we can go in here and we have it now a new page in between our, our document and we can go to insert table of contents so now our table of contents includes our introduction in South Korea and if you go here and click on it it'll go to South Korea um, let's also learn tabs let's say you want to have the page number so the page number is on page 4 so what you can do is um, if you click on number six, let's say you want the number to go there, click six and you can do a left tab stop. Left tab stop means it's going to align left. Center tab is going to align the number or text center and right is going to align there. So let's just do a left tab stop and then if you just hit tab, it automatically jets it over there and you can put four. Okay, same thing here. We can do a left tab stop there and hit tab and we can put it's also on page four so do that to the page numbers it's a lot better than putting space 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 um, that's no fun and we got the links and we're good to go um,
go to the bottom of the document, command enter, and we're gonna hit a works uh, cited page. Okay, now on a works cited page, uh, like so, it has uh, MLA format. Now to get MLA format, you can go to a website like easybib.com, and you can just go ahead and put in a book. Um, I just put in Tale of Two Cities. Let's say I wanted to use that as an inspirational quote uh, for what motivated me for moving and hanging in there. Um, so just go ahead and um, just choose a book and write some random uh, book or title just to get um, a reference. Okay, once you paste in your uh, reference, and again, make sure we're excited, is Command Shift E for center. Um, we need a hanging indent. Uh, they're a little bit tricky, so let's uh, look at this. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. First of all, you're gonna take the bottom arrow and drag it to half an inch. Okay, right about there. Now I'm gonna take the top rectangle and drag it back to where we started. Okay, and there's our hanging indent. If you don't have enough uh, space that has two lines, just add some more reference, make up some reference things to it so it has two lines so I can see that you can have uh, a hanging indent. Now, uh, now that we're done with our paper, sometimes you want to uh, see word count, so you can go to tools and you can see word count. You could do more defining or spell checking. You can have your dictionaries. Um, if you need to find something, let's say I had, oh, I, I know I had Korea somewhere. I hit Command F, and I can type in Korea, and it tells me and shows me where, how many times it it, it appears and where it appears right here. Um, right now, I'm in editing mode. I can change that to suggestion mode. You could share this, hit the blue button, and share it with someone else who has Gmail, and then they can go in and make comments. Um, and I can go into suggestion mode. Now, in the suggestion mode, let's just um, add one sentence. Just put. I was born in, in the place where you were born. So if you're born in um, Seoul, South Korea. Okay, so just add the place that you were born. And notice that it has a suggestion in green. And it has the information of who did it and the suggestion. You can hit replies and decide if you want something or not. Um, you can reject the changes and so on. So go ahead and add that sentence. Uh, to it and then you could also just go viewing mode if you don't trust someone to see it or you don't want to like ruin it You just want to view only just go to viewing mode and then you can view uh, the document only um, so that is Google Docs and uh, this, It's very useful because it's online. You can access it anywhere. You won't lose it You don't have to be tied to a computer or a file and it can be very helpful so that's Google Docs and have fun with that. Hopefully you don't have to write too long of papers in your lifetime at school. But if you do now, it'll be much easier with Google Docs.